But yeah, that's the end result of, uh, of, of a eugenics program in CK3. Alright lads, we start out as uh, Chief Des uh, Consanguinatus of uh, Vesterland as the House Targaryen. Look, look, I just, it made sense. Because today what we're trying to do is reinforce good traits. We're not trying to make the most incestuous dynasty ever. Well, we kind of are. But we want it to be a good incestuous dynasty, which is a very weird sentence to say. But that's what we're going to be trying to do. So we start with just one family member. Uh, she is a seductress and fecund, and I'm going to be trying to reinforce existing congenital traits over and over and over again within our dynasty and then try and spread them out. I've seen other people trying this challenge, uh, they, they try and make it targeted, I'm going to go shotgun approach. As part of that, we are starting out with a full noble blood uh, dynasty legacy, because I think it's fitting. So let's find our first spouse. Does anyone have any good congenital traits? Is it just comely? It looks like it's just comely. Oh, robust. Okay, robust might have to be the order of the day. Maybe we get lucky with a genius? No, I didn't think so. Because I like the idea of uh, us being on an island and just existing on this island. And, uh, you know, we're just an island of weird, mystical, genius, like, perfect beings. <laughs> oh, this is strange. All right, we're going to go for the robust guy. That's one congenital trait. We're going down the intrigue uh, one down here. We're going to add ourselves an increased amount of fertility. And let's see what we can get going. You have more troops than I do? Yes, unfortunately. Okay, immediately the guy is brought. Okay. Right, I'm in two minds. Do I just... Okay, there we go. Someone new. Perfect. Uh, no congenital trait. Swipe left. Right, you. No congenital trait. Swipe left. You are a bleeder, so no. You have one leg, which is pretty cool. Oh, it's Ivar the Boneless. Okay. Uh, no. We'll be a girl on Tinder's like, I suppose. Any congenital... Any good congenital trait. I'm gonna go through every man in medieval Europe. Seems like a hideously inefficient... I'm only gonna do this for another, like, five minutes. It's been a while, but we do need to introduce some, uh, good blood into the gene pool. And I want to do that as few times as possible. But I think he is. If I have like one stream of heirs, whatever, <laughs> that was a waste of time. If I have one stream of heirs that have all the good traits and then I can use the fringe like cousins and stuff to bring in the new traits. That's the play. All right, we're going to go ahead and try and seduce our husband. Re removes our attraction penalties. Are you kidding? Are you, are, you, are you seeing us? Chief, I don't think we have an issue. <laughs> all right, perfect. Become my lover and we're pregnant. Excellent. Can we go raiding? Here's my other idea. Right. We're going to raise everyone up as raiders, and we're going to nip across and just start stealing. Uh, sorry, you think that it's consanguinous in nature. I, w I mean, I wish it was, Chief. That'd make my life a lot easier, but no. Oh, I've got a daughter. Oh, she's not got any traits. Okay, let's keep trying. Help oh, sickly. That's one one trait, apparently. Oh, this is going to be tricky, isn't it? have already been raided. I don't really want to raid you. You've already been raided. Let's go over here. 900 troops, though. Assuming Hastings up there. Oh, he's finished his war. Means he'll come and kill anyone who tries to land with his troops. Yep, there we go. That's 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 mm, cool. I'm pregnant again, though. I'm surprised you don't kill me. I'd have killed you by now. Right, we've got a son. He's robust. Okay, that's good. Now we just need the son and the daughter to. Anyway, <laughs> did I capture anyone in that little. For a no prison's empty and again perfect like I said just as many kids as possible please all right you're fecund perfect so we'll marry off the fecund kid to the uh to the uh robust one that's what I'm gonna be trying to do hey meantime let's start inviting people from out of town he's handsome perfect all right that's another one perfect all right I can invite some champions that's more people in the gene pool you don't have any traits unfortunately oh apparently we're gonna go kill a beast 78. Yeah, there's no way I'm doing that. I'm not ending the game today. Damn it, he's chased. Something informative, something entertaining, something about religion. You are a holy warrior, so... Okay, perfect. You're, uh, I've got another lover. The downside is we're being invaded. But I have been saving money for this exact purpose. Already hired? Okay, we'll hire the more expensive lot. Okay, we have three years. All right, no one must ever know. Yeah, I don't care if I'm an adulterer. That's fine. Uh, you're hail. But we will legitimize you. Right, there's the 100%. So we're going to force demands, disband all, and then immediately attack him. My lover's dead. Oh, he gave me three kids, to be fair. Means I can get another. Ooh, robust. Robust and beautiful. Oh, get him in here. Just seduce our husband real quick. There we go. Right, and we have another province. Meantime, let's raise everyone up as a raider. And let's go back and see if we can nick anyone else. Raise a runestone. You want to raid in the Faroe Islands? Pregnant. Perfect. Ah, we've taken a. Oh. <laughs> Probably more beneficial than that. Secured myself another lover. Now, I need like a bar of raiding. Tempted to go and nick this province. It gives me a bit more reach to access more people. Although well, something like this can also work. Too far away. See, that's the issue. Everyone's too far away. The Count of Leon. We're going to try it. See if we can get there in six months. Oh, another daughter. Oh my god, she's pretty, hale, and fecund. You're perfect. Good job. Well done. Uh, uh, we're going to call you um, Dynasty Prime. That's perfect. Right. Let's 
keep you going. Okay, with this new title, it gives us access to more people. I need to educate all of my kids. Yes, intrigue, good job. All of my kids have to have intrigue. I don't care if you suck at it, especially this one. Right, so you're my son and heir. Educate you all myself. Make sure all of our kids are lustful, which is a very strange thing to, to say, but that's unfortunate. Ah, that's very unfortunate. Okay. That's, I mean, hey, we won. That's what counts. It doesn't matter how we won. <laughs> It just matters that we did. Okay, you are nothing special, but I will negotiate your release to recruit you, and you're gonna be my new marshal. Ooh, attraction opinion plus 50, equals your opinion minus 20. Sounds good to me. You be just, why not? Okay, find more people. I uh, guess another, I can't find anyone, they're all daughters. Oh, I seduce my own son. I'll be all, yeah, I should be fine on that front. When's our true up? They get deceitful. I'll help your intrigue. Don't be honest, for God's sake. How's my son 10? All right, let's polish off this. Unite Iceland. There we go, perfect. Okay, that's Iceland under our control. Create the Duchy of Iceland. Is there a Kingdom of Iceland? No, that's Kingdom of Norway. Okay, we're a Jarl, which apparently gives us a shawl. And let's give this to this random guest. Yeah, Pickle will do. All right, I think it's time for us to go raiding again. All right, keep my pregnancy secret. I'm gonna lie, I haven't had that many kids. I thought I'd have had more. You're beautiful, but your son's average, mate. Kind of disappointing. Keep raiding? Uh, you've already been raided. All right, my daughter is 16. Lustful, flamboyant, trickster, honest, and just. Okay, you're not great. Just don't have any perks. So, okay, didn't really want that to happen, but sure. I got consanguinous. I got a perfume. Flamboyant, trickster, perfect. Okay, my heirs unmarried. Just need more good traits, and then we'll just start getting everyone in here. Okay, we've got a couple of pretty. Nice. Any geniuses? Intelligent. Okay, we'll grab that. In the meantime, he'll try and seduce this girl when she comes away. <laughs> Raise a runestone. A kin daughter. We'll get this guy in here, because he's a genius. It's matrilineal. Hopefully, she'll have some kids. Yeah, I'll go to the, to the brothel, why not? Sif has a fecund grandson, okay. Basic breathing stock, as we call them. Yes, yeah, Sif. There we go, Sif. Hail and genius. That's good stuff. Right, my son is married off. Intelligent and robust. This is like my main line. You can marry her off, my daughter, to my grandson. Hail, hail, genius. I can't want to marry this kid off to this one, though. This one, like this. Because hail is guaranteed, and they might, they might turn into a robust. Then we've got genius, fecund, and pretty. That's a good lineage. So what am I going to do with this one, you might think? Uh, let's start doing something a, a bit different with her. I'm going to go for a giant. See if we can't. That's not matrilineal. Sorry. I'm gonna bribe my own daughter to get involved. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's try that one again. Okay, there are no giants. Should I do Galen? No. No. No geniuses. Man, you're gonna have a rough life, chick. Cause yeah, there's nothing really I can do. Okay, well, we'll get the, these two married off. Fecund and Hale. Well, cheers for weighing in, mate. Ah! That's why. You're a courtier over there. Yeah, get over here. Well, that was a journey. What a mistake that was. Man, I don't care. I don't have any more... Mate, I don't care about any of you. I already have... It's already done. Yeah, and don't worry, mate. I'll just seduce you again. It's not an issue. <laughs> You're a guest in love already. Dynasty Prime. There she is. Uh, I need you to do intrigue as well, and I'll educate you myself. Uh, you are a bit of a waste. Although you do actually have some decent kids, like this one. You already betrothed my other daughter. <laughs> Things are starting to... <laughs> to take place. You... You... I hate you. <laughs> you are nothing to me. Okay, my daughter, again, another waste of space. I'm tempted to marry you off to... Okay, it has to be matrilineal. Yeah, fecund is kind of rare. Let's just get some fecund kids out of you. Wait, if I seduce you before, I'll seduce you again, chief. He killed himself. Now we're gonna run into the same issues we had before. All right, you're Hale. All right, let's seduce you. Is that Lord Farquhar? All right, let's invite you to court, mate. Welcome. You're a giant. Keep improving Reykjavik in the meantime. All right, and let's see if we can't introduce new individuals to the gene pool. All right. We're gonna start hitting critical mass hopefully at some point when we when our kids start having kids. What the hell is that? You're intelligent. You're robust. You created this. No, you didn't. Get rid of that. Both already betrothed. That's good. Uh, betrothed. Betrothed. Waste of space. <gasps> Yo, he's strong. Okay. All right, my guy. Okay. All right. He's a strong ten-year-old kid. I see you. Okay. In which case, I'm gonna reward you like this. We introduce beautiful into this equation. Get these raiders going. Because we have a small enough realm to just keep hold of everything. Ah, uh, yeah, sure, he's a bit useless. We want to just hit in the same places. All right, murdering a child. He's dead, perfect. Go raid whales. All my troops you have not as enough to uh, to be able to stop me. That is a massive size. One is a 52-year-old giant, the other is a 58-year-old man. You know what? Screw it. Fine, fine. Fight to the death. Who won? I'm not having this man be my soulmate. 
Thank you very much. It's all to a means to an end. It's not, there's, there's no feelings involved here. All of my champions just died in this one battle. Fortunately, I've, uh, I've invited a load of other ones. <laughs> I say invited, but I've slept with a load of other ones. All right, so you fully raided. Let's nip home. Yo, we could kidnap some people that are like, we're missing someone that's Herculean. No one has Herculean. Genius and strong. Where's my champion? Who are you married to? My daughter. Ah, you're the one that made this guy. Okay, well, good job. I'm gonna have to get like a pen and paper to think. You know what? I'm actually gonna do it. This is the dumbest thing I've ever. Piece of paper is what I need. This is on the same page as my uni work, which says a lot. We're gonna do it properly. If you're gonna make an inbred dynasty, you gotta do it properly. <coughs> I should have named them one, two, three, four. That made it easier to track. We've got me, uh, and I have the fecund trait. We'll, we'll mark that with an F. On the left, we have the daughter. Uh, so we're gonna call her one and put an X next to her because she has no traits. Our son has robust, and he's also our heir. Daughter has fecund. This one has back robust is a bonus. So we're gonna call it um R2, R squared, right? And then this is gonna be R1. So number four is R1. Then this one, Dynasty Prime, which is number five, I'm gonna turn it into a box. I might include a photo of this at the end. You're pretty good, because you have that'll be P two you have r1 and you have fecund and then we have six who's a mistake i murdered that kid but sif number three has a kid who we're going to call seven and he's fecund and then we've got grandson who we're going to call eight who is r1 and g3 he's pretty special you're married to four or well, you're gonna you're gonna be married to and you are married to five or prime that's a big marriage that one eight and five that is huge that's where our dynasty needs to go down. And then six and one are married to people that I'm going to call X because they don't matter. I want to track in my dynasty. Okay. So, so far, this is what we've got. It it makes sense, okay? So, the, this is the couple that we need to focus on. That's the key part. Even as this guy, I need to focus on the, this lot. If I murder all of the grandkids, then it should go down, up one, where it should be him. I need to kill this kid. Yeah, because it'll split. This is now my biggest threat. Does this disinherit, like, him and his kids? I should break this betrothal. I need him to not have any kids. There's always is too much of a line. Okay, this is where the graph comes in handy. So I need to kill him off. I need two to not have any kids. So then I can play as this guy. Even though even though seven is my heir, we'll see what comes out of those two. Okay. Stupidest thing. Okay, this is going to make things complex, isn't it? Are you one? Okay, you had kids that are both fecund. Oh, God. That's going to... Okay, I can see why I didn't do numbers. That means that you're the... Oh, God. Those, that sucks. You're both the heirs. Okay. Um... 9 and 10 both have the gun. Okay, well, I'm actually going to call them 9 and 10 now. I like how I'm taking this too seriously. Like most people would be like, oh, let's, let's just marry people off. And I'm sitting here like, okay, I've got this graph by player Aaron's son. You're a wanderer. You're beautiful. It is worth mentioning that I don't count anyone other than the Targaryens in this little... Let's have a look. So the Targaryen succession I need to check out. Plus, I need trouble authorities to imprison people. Ah! What happens? Okay. Who are you? Grandson. My son is Hale. So that's number two. It was given birth to 11. Yeah, not a fan of that. Um, where the high intrigue character comes in handy. This daughter. So I need to eliminate one, six, and four. Okay. But one's had another kid. One has had a kid called 11, and he's also fecund. Okay, well, this is just good breeding stock, I suppose. But unfortunately, that's the, that's the issue with the succession. I need to add a succession law that is... Here you go. Vassals tend to favor over distant relatives of a close family. I think Tanistry elective is a good idea. Because then I can elect who I want. But I need to have Gudelic or Brythonic heritage, which I don't have. Scandinavian elective. Amongst the rulers, extended family, any valuable claimants. Because I have the most amount, that should be fine. So I want it to go to Prime. So now Dynasty Prime number five is my heir. Who's going to marry eight. So I don't need to kill this kid anymore. Because he doesn't matter. Because no one else can vote. It's just me. Only I can vote for the art. This is good. Paranoid. Don't be, don't be craving. I'm gonna go to the whorehouse. Stand up for this woman. So we have 11 current descendants. Ugh, there's this kid. To be fair, if the rest of your family were like geniuses, intelligent, and everything else, and you, you just turned out to be strong. He's a good heir. That's the sad thing. Okay, in fact, let's get you married off to someone. Because there's no need to, to not do that. <laughs> Uh, sure. Marry this chick. Use your romantic skills to keep your lovers satisfied without overworking yourself. Ah, she's a seductress. She'll fit right in. <laughs> Welcome to the family. Nah, no, let's not do Forest of the Dreams this time around. Oh, I don't care. I've already had the kids I need. Okay, there's a couple of different grandsons that I can raise, but you're all fecund. Who, who are you? I don't have you noted down. Oh, you're seven. Okay, cool. Um, I don't care about seven. <laughs> Getting strange. What? Where did? How'd you get over here? Oh God, sorry. I don't mean to imprison you. Okay, the Bishop Fausti. That's fine. But I'm gonna have to kill the kid. Just so you know. Unless he turns up with like some insane traits. He's he's dead. 
Just so you know. To prepare yourself for that. Ah, Targaryen Prime has had a kid with who? I mean, he's handsome and hale, so... That really... That messes up this graph because, like, that didn't come out of this union. Okay, let's have a, a sideways one. We're going to call this guy 12. I can be confusing because some of these are going to have names that correspond to numbers and some of them don't. Uh, 12 is P2 and R1. Okay, that makes sense. Ooh, 99%. They're not going to let them fight. I need those champions. Brave, calm, or zealous. Go brave. Kill the kid. He's dead. So that eliminates that one. Okay, who are you? A courtier. Ah, okay, so you're the son of six. Daughter. Ugh. Okay. Uh, you're gonna be called 13. And you are G1. No, G2, sorry. No, that is G1. I'm just yelling out numbers now. This started as a normal scene. Damn it, I could've called her 13. Can I rename everyone? Oh, perfect, okay. Um, you're 13. Can I rename all of you? I think I can rename kids. Wait, how many kids do you have? One of them died. 11, 10, 9, perfect. Oh, uh, okay. 11 is dead. Uh, that's, that, that's 11. <laughs> He's gone now. There is a really strong trend down the center. Okay, my husband's dead. Uh, doesn't really do much for me. Just, I'll get married to you, married, manage my affairs. I'm too old to have kids now. Okay, I'm pretty sure you impregnated my daughter. Don't know why I slept with you, but that's fine. We, we move on. 27. This is going to be a power couple. This is what I'm looking forward to. They're going to, like, they're going to have a kid that's cool. 14, it's going to be great. Betrothed can marry my daughter and my grandson. Is that? No, this is the... Uh, this is the first marriage. So you are fecund. Who are you? I've lost track. I don't know who you are. Oh, that's number one. Why is number one betrothed the number... Who are you? Wait, what? That's not number one. That's number four. And you're number seven. Yes. Okay, that's four and seven. That's down the center. So that should be R1. Okay, I've tracked them down. <laughs> okay, we're good. <laughs> oh, come on. You guy, you could do better than that. All right. Just wait for this kid. My ward. Grandson and champion. All right, this is... These are the two that are going to do it. Okay, yeah, same problem. Finally, they're married. Here we go. Now, you're already pregnant. You're a bastard. Okay, we're going to call you 14. And you are R1. So, you're a disappointment. You've had another kid? Oh, she's a genius. Okay. So, that means that you are going to be called 15. <laughs> this is going to get very confusing. Okay. So, 15. And that is... I should have... I don't know why I did it portrait. I should have done it landscape. That made so much more sense. This is going to get... Way worse. Okay. 15 is a uh, G3. Perfect. So I can marry you off to one of the other kids. Number four. No, that's he is just four years old. Parents are Arthur. Okay. Oh, you're the son of two. Okay. So he's the son of my first ki uh, son. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll let that happen. So we're now going to marry off. 15 is going to be married off to... Call you 16. Why not? 15 and 16. Don't know why I've done this. I'm just going to kill him. Seems a bit harsh, but I did it. Okay, number one, didn't bring too much to the family. Two fucking kids. I'm not going to marry you off anywhere. One. I need to die because then I can play as Dynasty Prime. And I hope that these two have like a mega kid. Oh God, there's another basic one. I can't remember who he is. Another one between four and I imagine you're then seven. Yeah. Okay, so there's a kid between four and seven. Perfect. And you are, okay, you're going to be called 17. Oh, one and F. Fakund is the one that we're currently missing. I went from playing CK3 to like real, really going into the eugenics real quick. Okay. Oh, God. Halstein's a, he's a fertile kid. And he got the beautiful trait. Okay, so 17, uh, E3. That's the first one we have with the beautiful trait. So 17 could actually match up really nicely with... No, that's 18. Sorry. Damn it. I, I've called two kids 17. Uh, quick, quick, quick. Rename is 18. 18. Quick. That could have gotten really confusing. Okay. 18, we're going to marry off to 17. Why can't I marry off to 17? Oh, it's because they're both guys. Gay marriage isn't a thing, and that probably wouldn't produce any kids. Just realized, haven't marked whether they're male or female. <laughs> very progressive of me, but I, I don't think it's very helpful in this context. This is tricky. He doesn't give me any notification. Yeah, these are all Targaryens. I don't know what to do with you. Why are you in Fulda? Oh, because you're married to a countess. Okay. Um, I've got the lover's box. Okay, I'm gonna have to kill you. Because I need, to, I need my son to come home. So I can actually arrange these marriages. Because there's a lot of kids that are unaccounted for. I'm talking like 19 to 22. My son could be convinced to kill his wife. Perfect. Good job, mate. Just keep... We've got 95% chance. We don't need to accelerate it. We just take our time. Okay, you've got another kid. Uh, this one's gonna be called 18. Let's see what stats are. 18 and just F. Ugh. I could match you up with... 12, though. When my son comes home, I can start organizing some, some proper stuff all right she's dead bring him home okay so you lot are just gonna exist in europe then okay so <laughs> there are just some targaryens in europe <coughs> don't know how we managed to get that one i didn't mean to 
Well, I brought my son home, but then there are just like a couple of guys that I just don't have, I can't touch. All right, well, let's organize these guys so they're married. Daughter, you got a couple of kids. They're all fecund. My granddaughter and great granddaughter. That's, mm, that's when you start seeing some things. I'm concerned that Dynasty Prime hasn't had any kids. Okay, I've reached an idea, right? So within our family tree, we have like, the pretty traits. We have a couple of geniuses. We have a lot of fecund people and we have a couple of robust people. I think that we use the fecund guys from the first daughter, from number one, so these are nine and 10 over here, to bring in new congenital traits instead of marrying through, because they're not gonna bring anything in to the equation apart from fecund. We're gonna use their fertility to bring in traits. Search of our inheritable traits. Amazonian sounds pretty good. Grab that in here. So, you, so nine is married to, I'm just gonna call her A. It's a terrifying, terrifying creature. Been an intelligent. Oh, she's 48. Add fertile. A lot of beautifuls, a lot of my guys. Sure, so you're gonna marry to someone who's beautiful. Just get those traits in. Now, marry off the rest of these. I, was, I don't know why I was gonna call them an insult there. Huh? Yo, if you were in my squad. Oh, she's intelligent and strong. Okay, you're gonna be outlier, so I'm gonna call you Zero. Zero is a girl that I can marry off to one of my guys. Eight would be a good one. Okay, 12. So, 12 is gonna be married to Zero. Let's start a new line on this. Zero to 12. That's a, that's good. So now who's lacking till marriage is 13 is? Okay, you are Hale and Fecund. So I'm gonna match 17 up with 14. Because then we've got Hale being potentially increased into a bust. 18 who's just Fecund. No, oh, wait, what? why are there two 18s? I think someone might have named them after someone else. Screw it, this kid. Why not? Nothing to do with me. I just want you out of my hair, 18. Okay, 18 is gone. So now we have the third generation of uh, the outlier being married to 12, 15 being married to 16, and 14 being married to 17. I believe that's us pretty good. Yeah, okay, it should be everyone. <laughs> that looks okay. Honestly, Prime still not having any kids with, uh, with, with eight. Is, there's an 18 there. Yeah, I've got two 18s. But let's marry you off. I mean, you're 14. Sorry, you're 41. Uh, I need more Targaryens now. So everyone's patrolled. That's yeah, kind of messed up, but let's just get some, introduce some new blood. So one is going to be married to 13. So I'm going to put that over here. This is what the, the, the tree's looking like now. <laughs> no one can read this apart from me. I don't even know what this video is going to look like. I need to die. Can I unalive myself? Whoa, what's this? Yo, the power couple of four and seven are just producing so many kids. Okay, four and seven have produced 19, who is just R1. If you skipped ahead and you don't know what my terms are, then you kind of screwed over yourself. All right, 19. Yeah, 19 and 18 can go together. 19 and 18. We're losing a lot of traits, unfortunately. So this one's fast. That Bishop Fast is really... So we have four couples. Ah, damn, it's, it's this. It's this one that's the, that's the issue. Because Diane, like, you two should be... Producing insane kids, and you're, I don't understand how you're not. I'm gonna monitor my kids now. I mean, you, you're welcome here. You're, you're one of the family. Bloom in the wilderness. Who are you? Do you have any traits? Yeah, handsome. Why not? Pretty sure I'm, I can't have kids anymore. There's no way. I'm probably, I'm, I'm 67 years old. I don't think that's happening anytime soon. England's full, though. No? I haven't actually had a look around. Nakatana's a thing. England and France really aren't that big of a kingdom. Abbasids aren't doing too well. The Seljuks have collapsed. Byzantine's still going strong. It's a very decentralized world, this. More attraction opinion. She's a 70-year-old woman. I just wish you'd have, like, a kid with the guy instead of, you know, random ones. Oh, you did! Oh! Okay, so you're fecund, robust, and genius. Okay, uh, Hjalmar, you are number 20. Excellent. So that is, uh, between 8 and 5. Okay, we're just gonna put it go around here. Okay. I'm gonna start a new down here okay i'm gonna start a new line but one second okay 19 and 18 are betrothed 14 and 17 are betrothed um eight and five because you had a kid that's relevant to me zero and 12 15 and 16 so eight and five have had a kid who we're going to call 20 who is male I'm starting to know that down now g3 r2 and fecund, pretty good. So we need to match you up with one of the pretty lot, which would be 10. But I think you already have someone's betrothed. What happened to 10? I don't know where 10 is. Is that a 10? I can't even read my own writing. No, 10's over here on the one. The kid of this one will be, will be a good one. Okay, so he's, he's pretty good. My steward is lonely, sure. Let's match up with someone. My daughter, she's 46. Got a poetry night together. My son is now a deviant. Uh, he, is he is betrothed to a 13 year old, so I can't really complain. Can't say it's inaccurate. Really? No, his vine's been captured. Okay, so genius, robust, fecund are all there. What am I missing? The beautiful trait and an upgraded version of those two. Oh, hang on, who's this? Daughter. Is it the power couple again? Or the adjacent one? How do you keep doing this? 
It's four and seven. Keep on giving birth to more kids. Okay, you're useless. Um, I'm going to call you a dash so that I know not to use you. You're sickly as well. Go marry someone else. I don't care. Go marry Barbara. Next time you're born better. My dear grandmother. What, what the hell is this? Yeah, okay. We'll help our grandson. Let's march down here. Well, we tried. <laughs> we didn't get there in time. I mean, you can come home now. And you're actually not half bad. So you're betrothed to 15. That's another capital to add to the list. So 15 and that's another outlier. Damn it. I'm going to call him 0 That's it. This is... Hmm. Okay. So we're calling it 0 2 <laughs> O2 is Marion 15. This is fine. Don't worry about it. Everything's under control. All right, now we've got a bunch of betrothed can marry. We filled out this entire tree. You know what? Let's go. Let's go. Um, theology focus. We, you know, error of our ways kind of thing. Towards about to die. Might as well try and see if we can secure a place. How are we still alive? We have lovers box with 74. Just being friendly with people. Nice. Oh God, who are you? Nine. I don't have nine written down anywhere. Oh, for nine, son. Okay, nine. Was married to an outsider. I didn't actually place any faith in them. Okay. Uh, we'll call you 21. Why not? 21 and you are R1. All right. Anyone like him? I'm going to start marrying to outsiders to try and get him on thrones of places. What happened to our first Vakun lot? Oh, that is the first Vakun lot. Cool. I don't care. That's that's good. They can inherit genius 100%. Which is good and robust. I don't I don't care about you. This is a good lot. The Northman army. My grandson's done well there. Oh, he's 16. He changed his name. 15 and 16. They're actually a relevant couple. Man's just got his own little... Army? Okay. Do we want to go and conquer somewhere? I don't want to go conquer Norway. Might as well, right? I'll just, I'll just nip in there. Nine is married to another... That's that same outsider. Oh, he's Herculean! Okay, you just became important. Uh, your name is 22. I'm going to introduce him into the gene pool. Welcome back, Chief. 22 is... R3. His only good trait, but we can keep that one alive. We'll just marry you into here for... Wait, aren't you sibling? I don't know what that's about. All right, you only have a thousand. Let's nip in and grab you as well. All right, 17 and 14 getting married. It can be hard to keep track of everyone now. That doesn't make things easier. Are you kidding me? You had more kids. 23 and 24. I'm going to just keep track of you at the top. 23 is male R1. Not really interested in robust anymore. 24, female R1 and fecund. Should probably change my thing. Okay, everyone looks fecund now if they're female, but that's fine. The system is getting more complex. There's a lot of, a lot of kids going on. Uh, that's another negative. Look at that kid. Where the hell have you been hiding? Dynasty Prime, you had another kid. Okay, that's, that's important, that's important. You are going to be called 25. Uh, 25. And you're pretty good because you are female. And then you are fecund. P2R2G2. Not as good as your brother. If we can get those two, this is what we need now. I need 2,000... 300. You'll die before them, won't you, though? Okay, but we need to keep 20 uh, and 25 separate. Unfortunately, I don't recall giving you any power, but okay. So where's my... Where are you situated? He's a lunatic. Because originally I gave him some land and then immediately regretted it. So I'm glad that this guy just took it off him. Works for me. Okay. Let's go on a pilgrimage. Good amount. About to become a devoted servant. Right, we've accrued enough piety for us to go ahead and create a new Christian faith. Uh, we are going to be uh, unrestricted marriage, so we're allowed for family members to, anyway, you know what I mean. Uh, polygamous, which I think is going to really help accelerate things. Uh, we're going to have an equal view on gender. Those are the only three. So now I need to find a name. Uh, God, this is what I suck at. Uh, that works well. So uh, we're going to be called Wincest. Uh, the adjective is Wincestuous. A single follower is a freak and many of them are freaks. So that works. Sins are lustful. Yeah, sure. I can't I don't have the piety to do anything else, so we're just going to do that. All right, can you try and convert people to Wincest? Oh, this is stupid. <laughs> All freaks get this. Okay, that works nicely. All right, the only concern is when I die, I will... Uh, <laughs> as if on cue, uh, I will lose this land. Um, right, so let's see who we're playing as. Dynasty Prime, you know, secondary spouses, my brother's my friend. Why are you of House Bevenber? Because your father was... No, you're just a brando that just... Is of House Bevenber. You're a, oh, you're a bastard founder. You founded your own dynasty. Fair play. Founder of my dynasty. Well, founder of my dynasty. The line of succession goes 9, 21, 22, 23, 24. Uh, let's have a look. I think what I'm going to do is... Oh, this is number one. I'm going to declare war on her. And just take it back. See, the main reason I need to declare war and take these lands back is because I need the uh, entire family under my control. Let's do that. Okay, and then we'll, we'll sort out everything here. He doesn't have the white hair. But he's got an intrigue already. Good job, kiddo. And we can marry you off to your... 
Why can't I marry you off to your sister? Oh, because you're Catholic. Oh, well, there you go. So, gotta add this to the list. So, I'm now dead. 20 and 25 are gonna be married. I believe he's 20. That's a lot of traits. The Kunda will absolutely be inherited. These might be. Robust might get upgraded. If, if we can get ourselves genius um, Herculean, fecund, and uh, pretty, I'd, I'm gonna count that as a win. So no pressure, you two. Oh, can I rename him? I can, perfect. The rest of you lot I'll sort in a bit. Power and son. Keep our is, um, because it's for the Yardum of Iceland and no one else has any territory on Iceland apart from me, only I can vote, so I can just pick my heir, which is ideal. Obviously, it doesn't apply to everyone outside, but that doesn't matter. You trying to murder me? That's okay. Maybe we have to fight a couple of rebels at the same time. That's okay. My nephew and my niece are getting married. Don't know. That's 18. Oh, that's 18 and 19. Okay, 18 and 19 are now officially married. Perfect. This numbering system, it makes things confusing at times, but it also is very, very useful. Perfect. Now, let's go check out the, the, uh, the dynasty. Okay, so 20 and 25 are married. Perfect. You're dead. That doesn't matter. 19 should be married to 18. There are two 18s. So 19 and 18 aren't married yet. So who are you, who are you married to? So 18 over here, there's a female 19. Female 19 is married to 18. Female 18 is married to... Okay, that's fine. We're going to ignore him. Bring you to court. Make sure all of everyone is converted to Wincest. You're too far away to interact with. Well, he's gone. 10 is just... He's left. He did his own thing. He got He got out of the Wincest. Let's make sure all these kids are converted. I mean, they say two negatives make a positive, right? So I'm tempted just to, you know, get these two off. You're still wondering. I can't invite you to court because you're in a patrilineal marriage with who? Who is this guy? Who's Aki? Okay, maybe I can find out who he is by 15. He should be 16. So she's married to 16, who is over there for some reason. <coughs> okay, 16's turned up. Good. And everyone's converting to Wincest. Bit of a mad thing to say. Okay, you guys don't have names. So 15 and 16 have actually had kids. Uh, I just haven't been notified of it because they were in a different court. So we have 25. Uh, we're going to have on the front, starting from the left. That's annoying. That's annoying. 60, uh, 26. Called Hawker. We have 27. I pinned you by mistake. Annoyed that I can't rename you. What do you mean it's not family of me? It's none of my niece. 27 called Ingolf. And 28 is Hrecker. Uh, you are G2R1. You're just G2. And you are R1G2. R1. Okay. All males, right? Okay. Well, let's get the most promising one and chuck you in with this. Because that might go up to robust. Alright, that's a little bit more management done. Let's raise a rune stone. Carve a rune stone to our mother. My daughter 14 is giving birth to a son. So 14 and 17 now have a kid who is going to be called 29. R1F. 29 R1F. Is that a daughter or a son? Damn it. I need a daughter. I need a, I need, I need a, yeah, I need a granddaughter. We have no inbred. This is, this has been pretty good. It's been pretty successful. Any inbred kid dies on the spot, but our hopes and dreams are pegged on these two. So that is Okay, I need to I need to be educating myself. Just watch you become generous. Okay, we're gonna have a chat with our daughter 13. For those of you who are curious, uh, this is what it currently looks like. <laughs> that is stupid. Oh, betrothed can marry. Who's that? 18 and 19 can marry. Perfect. Beautiful and hail. We need that beautiful trait in. My sister. Well, she's 60. It's fine. That's okay. 17 can can have an a, a, an affair. That's okay. You can't have any kids. Okay. 52 year old woman just yanking a table okay i need one of the beautiful ones where's p3 because we have a p2 I swear i had some p3 somewhere 10 was a p3 okay, what's this 19 and 18 that's a good one 19 18 that's the first kid right so he's gonna be 30 r1 kind of sucks p2 is decent and for kund again i need a daughter i need uh, like a, a, a granddaughter okay let us grab ourselves a new character who am i fighting for northern army conquest and principality of yedisan my nephew and husband yeah i'll be contrite we already knew he was <laughs> a bastard oh you're off somewhere there are raiders i don't care all right 20 is at an age and he is i'm gonna circle him he's the prime don't die please don't die what's my husband doing pretty sure there are still some like oh yeah look, there's a targaryen that's a good one. We kidnap her. Uh, we did lose our holdings in Brittany. Don't know when that happened. You just, I don't want to give out anything from Iceland. So what I'm going to do is divorce my husband and I'll marry someone else. Give me matrilineal. It doesn't actually have to be Targaryen because I think I'm old enough that I won't have any kids. No, you guys need to marry the realm for me. Okay, also leaves him free to do whatever he wants. But that, my son is his heir. So we're going to be quite the spread out dynasty. Okay, we just need to nail another pretty one. A P3 as I've termed it. Targaryen. My daughter is pregnant. Good. This is the only beautiful Targaryen. And you're married off to 19. Oh, yeah. You've already had a kid, haven't you? Damn it. Okay, I'm just going to hope that you have a beautiful kid. And then I can marry them off to the child of 20, which is my heir, and 25, which is the, the hope. That's uh, If that works. Okay, 14. 
and 17. Homely. That's the first time we've actually had a P1. Uh, 14 and 17. That's the same kid. That's 31. P1, R2, F. Okay, pretty, like, that's not bad. I think what I'm going to do is marry off 31 and 29, these two, because it will probably um, upgrade Robust to Herculean. Tempted to go and nip in and grab, what's this, 14 and 17, have another kid. This one generated the quick trade. Okay, 32, G1, R2. I don't know who you are. Ah, you're from Paderborn. <coughs> I, can, I can bring you back into the family. That's a lot of traits. So I probably will generate Herculean, I hope. The 32 and Rando, which I'm going to call O3. Of the new lot, we now have 32 and 03. Or chapter 15. It's, it's a very efficient naming system, if you think about it. Now, I'm limited in my expansion, because if I expand too far, then my dynasty members will, will spread too far. Why not the rest of the family getting on? Any of the originals still alive? Oh, you died. Your son died. Nine is dead. I don't recognize a lot of you that I've created here. Where, where are you? What? How are you not in my court? So you guys, yeah, you guys are just out there. Okay, so all of that first one kids were writing off as, as, as individuals non grata. Persona non grata, that's it. Get rid of them. We don't need them. What? Get out of here. Okay, instead, we're gonna switch over to prestige focus because I wanna see if I can do something with my culture. That'd be kind of useful. My daughter 14 is plotting against my nephew 17. Aren't they married? Oh, sorry. I got concerned because it said 20, which is the, uh, the heir. But no, she's just trying to kill her husband. Can I get to end the plot? Alright, 25 is of age. I don't have you written down. Who who are you? Oh god! You're I'm so sorry, you're the you're prime. Okay, perfect. I didn't educate you. So now you guys are gonna be married, right? 16, 23, yeah. Now they're both Vakun, so they should just be like the amount sheer quantity of children. They're like as I spoke. Now I'm hoping that 19 and 18. Ooh, you're spindly. Homely genius Vakun. Not a good start. Not a good start for 33. He's a genius, but he missed out on all of the uh robustness and instead got spindly not sure how he did that but you're an idiot and i hate you and you're ugly look at i mean <laughs> and he's a drunk oh god oh i'm sorry i'm just gonna keep him like that holding a massive stupid hammer okay try again lads try again all right how are 19 and 18 getting on 24 is giving birth to someone else robust for and quick i'm gonna call you 30 34 24 is up here and you give birth to like, you're married to... Yeah, we're just gonna call you 34. Chill out. Do whatever you want. All right, I need to find 19 and 18. They're over here somewhere. I like the fact you, you highlight people and they appear several times. Where's 19? Married to 18. Okay. You have this kid who is handsome. I need you to be married. Uh, is, is handsome... Is that the, the... Yeah, handsome's the best one, isn't it? Okay, I've got him down as P2. My bad. Okay, I'm saving you for someone good. Like this, but everything upgraded would be ideal. In fact, I'm gonna pin you. <coughs> In the meantime, we are going to go and conquer an island because I want to start trying to find people with a pure-blooded trait. If we can start bringing them in. Oh, my brother drank himself to death. All right, 20 and 25. And he's a giant? Genius, fecund, Herculean. That is, that is insane. That is insane. Okay, that's perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Okay, this guy is 35, I believe. 35, okay. 35, bring him down here. 35, I'm going to highlight him as well. It's a shame it's not a girl, because then we could have married him off to the uh, uh, the beautiful one. That is massive, though. Okay, so giant. I'm just going to call him B for big, because G is for genius. I messed up the naming system earlier on, and then I stuck with it, because I'm an idiot. Fortunately, only P1. But we've got R3, G3, and Fecund. We j like, that is beautiful. Well done, 35. Well done. Now, we just need to focus on the pretty ones. And see if we can get a beautiful. So we need a beautiful girl... And then we should be able to nail it for Targaryen. Kind of want to enforce divorce for you. And then we'll get someone who is beautiful to guarantee it. She's 23. Let's get that going. In the meantime, let's hedge our bets and also do it with others. My daughter. Oh, yeah, she's 25. That's that's the one. Uh, then it's this kid who's handsome. Then it's me. That's the only ones with, uh, with P2 in the entire bracket. Okay, because I didn't really focus for it. I didn't select for it. Your father's already doing stuff. I'm tempted to... Well, we need a we need a daughter, right? So let's just let's marry you off to someone. There's no one else with a beautiful trait. I don't, I don't think that's gonna help, dude. If you could do the same thing but be a, but get a girl this time, that'd be wonderful. Oh, my husband's infirm. Oh my god, he did it. He did it again. Let's have a look. This one's a dwarf. Okay, I'm I'm getting confused. I'm getting really mixed messages here with you lot. Okay, so <coughs> 36. I believe this is 36. Yeah, 36. So you are a a, a dwarf. But you have all the other, like, you have all the other best traits. What's the best one? 
Is it handsome? Is, the, is handsome the best one? No, it's beautiful is the best one. You don't have the best one. Herculean. That's, uh... You do have P2. You are better than the other one, apart from the fact that you're a dwarf and he's a giant. That's very confusing. Uh, 3... G... 3... Good, good, good going, though. That first one. But you're getting better with each try. Okay, that's 36. Now... You are useless. I want to find him a spouse. I want to find me a spouse. Yeah, just need a girl with all the best traits. This kid will, uh... It's weird, because you're an offshoot, 30. You're an offshoot. From 19 and 18. My niece has been given to a daughter. 13. Uh, a quick negative on that. 24, 31. Still plenty of time. Both for Kund. Let's just start getting some kids in. Okay, that's cool. Uh, also, in order to try and find more people, I have been island hopping. So I've got uh, three islands. Well, I had to get to Brittany first. Then I could get to Sardinia. Now I've gotten to um, Crete. I'm trying to find anyone with the uh, pure blood trait. But it's not happening. Both can marry. Who are you? 31 and 29 to get married. Chop that down. 31 and 29. There's also 32 and 03. I wonder what's happened with 32. There's 32. That's 03. You've not married her yet. But that's also an interesting one. They're sort of the lesser of the... I think I'm calling them prime. Hey, give me a second to raise up my troops, man. I'm just whittling down my men here. Okay, fine, 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 fine. I'm just gonna... I'll do it properly. God's sake. I just wanted to do it quickly. I don't have to deal with all this. How many battles I just lost? All right, I'm dead. There's a lot going on. Perfect, we're down the seducer trait. Go ahead and make sure we've seduced our wife. And while I'm with the succession, did I get it all? I don't believe so. Oh, no, I did. Okay, cool. Did I lose anything? No. Interesting. I'm gonna nominate the giant for now. He's the best guy we've got. Good old 30 Targaryen. I've still my mother, my uh, grandmother's perfume. Is it grandmother? I think it's great grandmother. I'm not sure. There's a lot of relations going on. Uh, what's that? I don't know who Swero is. Don't care about him. He's got pretty good traits. It's almost as if I selected him for that. What's going on here, 13? Tell me the truth. It's really funny. Raise a casual runestone. As many kids with this woman as possible. The love a brother husband feels for his sister wife cannot be wrong. <laughs> All right, 31 and 29 had a kid. Oh, for God's sake, it's a male. Dude, oh, you're female, it'd be great. You're Herculean and stuff. Okay, well, let's let's check it down anyway. 31 and 29, uh, you're going to be called 37. You are S because you have a negative trait. Uh, you are P3, no, it's P2. R3, F, and uh, G1. So all in all, okay, but not exactly what we want. It all hinges on this guy. Well, you're handsome, you're not beautiful. What's your father? <gasps> no! Killed during a raid. Okay, I need you to get married to a beautiful woman. I, I know it might be hard for you, but please, for the family. Analytic villain. I mean, I can have more kids, but that's not gonna help me. I mean, I can have more daughters, but that's not gonna help me. I mean, I can have more spouses, but that's not gonna help me. Oh, you're beautiful. I need I need that trait. I need, a tra I need that trait introduced. Oh, I just need a daughter, man. What, what are these bad traits coming in? More sons, okay. That is 38 and 39. It's not really 38, it's like a terrible username. Okay. Yeah, you're not what I'm looking for here. P1, R3, G3, Hunt. But you are also a hunchback, so you get an F. Second one. Can we just like, I mean, we got a good negative trait. I don't I think that giant one, I think 35 is going to be the magnum opus. Which is a shame about the, the pretty side of things. But the giant, I think. S. And then you're literally the same, aren't you? P1, R3. Yeah, you are. G3, F, yeah. No way that I just nail it with a random woman. Is that a daughter or a son? Mate, that's good and all. I need, like, okay. I'm gonna rename him. Hit him as well. He's gonna be called... Put him on the side, 40. He has the P3, but only R2. Okay, so I, I should probably stop using my terms. So he, he only has the, the, the second rank of this stuff here, which sucks, because otherwise, if he had the three, I'd have won it right there. But this woman might might do it for me. Wait, what? Oh, come to the court. What are you doing? Yeah, become, you know what, screw it, become my wife. Oh, hang on. Something else has happened. Oh, another kid. I had something else in mind. This one is 41. Okay, this is getting out of hand. He's got a negative trait, but he, he doesn't have any. He's not even pretty. Uh, so he's useless. R3, G3, and Fecund. But he's not great. This Targaryen, I, I need you to, to have a kid. 32. I don't know who that is. I'm going to say no and just move on. I need someone who has a beautiful trait. You're not beautiful. You, you're of no interest to me. All right, my wife's pregnant. Perfect. 33 came of age. Chuck him in with 34. Four. He's handsome and he's a giant Herculean. This is the okay, right? This one's this one's the best one. This one's the best one. But if he had just oh god. Okay, so this one is 42. Everything is now stemming from this one couple. Look at that. <laughs> I've ignored everyone else now. He is uh P2, R3, G3, and Fecund. Perfect. It just occurred to me, they don't have to be because I had the second kid, 43. They don't have to be everything, you know? Like this, together, they probably would upgrade to beautiful. Worth keeping an eye on. Nope. 
pregnant again. Excellent. Because we're not going to get beautiful. Okay, we're just going to add in negative one. All right, I'm betrothed 42 and 43 together. Pull of the trigger on that one. My son's trying to kill me. 33, why? Sister wife's ill, that's not good. It's like, come on. 34 and 33. A bleeder genius. You're trying to kill me, so you're, you're not getting a numbered name. Someone exposed me as a deviant. That's absolutely fine. Oh, great. She's out of cancer. All right, that's my, uh, unfortunately, my, unfortunately, I've run out of this space, basically. So we are going to nominate our best guy for the job. This man right here. And bank everything on them. And just speed through it. Because otherwise, I've, this won't turn into a video. Because I won't have any space and it will corrupt the files. All right, lads. Yep, I'm, I'm definitely going to have to call it here. Otherwise, there won't be a video. <laughs> <laughs> there is no disk space left. Uh, this is our final product. Uh, together, these two should create the perfect uh, air, but there's a chance that the giant uh, doesn't take place. But I think, uh, as a result, we've done really well here. Um, I mean, the Targaryen dynasty is filled with absolute studs. Look at that. It's hardly, there's hardly anyone with, uh, with any negative uh, traits. Oh, I've got a beautiful one here. Why is he away? What's wrong with him? Why did I... Oh, he doesn't have the uh, Robust 3. But he's a contender as well. But yeah, I think we uh, we achieved our aim. That's done pretty well. I was uh, I flipped the coin whether to do this one or the inverse, which was to create the worst dynasty ever. So if that's something you want to see, please do let me know in the comments down below, and I'll be sure to get on it, trying to get all the absolute worst traits all at the same time. We'll see how successful I am with that. Because the issue is, whereas this lot are very, very powerful, uh, so it's easier to keep them in power and no one like dislikes them because they're pretty amazing. The inverse of the of the the inverse of this challenge is a lot a lot harder. Uh, this is our end result of that thing. But yeah, that's the end result of uh, of, of a eugenics program in CK3. Uh, <laughs> if you're a channel member, you'll have seen this already. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to our patrons, most notably Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadow Singer. The support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's, it's literally right there.